Hi, this is Glenn Graham, developer of Rastrack Software. I'm continuing my discussion about the Rastrack web interface. Last time we talked about the demo account and what it, uh, why it's different. I'll go back to that and I'll click here. So anything I'm doing here, you'll be able to try out on your own. Uh, the, I wanted to talk a little bit about navigating around the website. As on top up here, there are four major categories. These are the area, main areas of the Rastrack website. First one's the last position, which shows all your vehicles where they are currently last responded, last time we got information from them. Now we can see that here's all the, this is the latest information that we have on the vehicles. Uh, notice like for instance this car has not responded in quite some time, while everybody else seems to be pretty much up to date. And the other areas in here is the vehicle tracking history. Now if I just click on that it, you won't see any changes because it basically does, and in fact all the vehicles are gone but what it does do is it creates a, an area where you can see a track history of the vehicles. So let me go over to Saudi Arabian track here and this shows this vehicle and where it had moved. These little indicators are cluster areas where there's like multiple states but to make it much cleaner for you to see they've been clustered into one icon. Notice also that not much has changed over here the display and the messaging and stuff this track history is very similar to the last position except it will give you this and it gives you a timeline where you can slide out and see the different where the person has been on different time areas. The other major areas is the reports area <clears throat> and here you would schedule like different reports about stops and mileage and, and trips and stuff like that. The other area is the settings area. In the settings area you can, if depending on the uh, account that you're in, you can do lots of different things. You can change passwords, contact information, you can change your display attributes. This will allow you to, if you don't want to see certain things on your front display, you'd set them in here. You can also generate notifications. Notifications are, will be another part of another video, but they're typically things that get sent out when a vehicle does something that you want to be notified about. And you can also set up maintenance information. On the main pages, the uh, last position and the uh, uh, oops, let me go back to, let me zoom back out to somebody. So, in the last position, you can see that there's uh, these tabs off to the side. Notice it has different things on here, like, these are like points of interest that you might have. You can group those by different things, although there's none for that one. But you can see different points of interest. You can send messages to any of the vehicles that you have. Um, messages are special commands that you can send either to have something displayed to the driver or just find out the status of the vehicle. There's an um, ability to search to locate uh, different things. And there's the d display settings. Display settings is the thing that you might want to look at the most. It allows you to see different things like displaying the uh, traffic information that's currently available and you know, we're displaying uh, what we call the geofences which are uh, fences that are created so that you can say when something enters here I want to know it when something exits here I want to know it some people do this like over a work area they might put it around their trucks or vehicles and then when their trucks or vehicles leave the work area they'd be notified that way they know if something is stolen or been uh, moved before the you you were aware of it Anyways, so that's basic navigation. There's also a help up in the button up here, and I'll create I'll put up a help index. There's also a log off, and log off just basically logs you off. So that's all I had for navigation, and we'll go into more details about the website in further videos.